Okay, let's continue. So, I will create a new component into this assembly. Create a component. Is I rename it using pipe. Select the template. I will select the standard uh, millimeter. Okay. And then put it where the location. And then click OK. So I will use the width plane. So I will use the XY plane to create this sketch, uh, this component, and then create a new sketch in this XY plane. Okay. So I will I will not to put the sketch here, but I will put the sketch in the center. Okay. 10 millimeter will be the pipe diameter. Okay, and then also I will use X offset to create the inside diameter. And then I use the thickness, which is 1 millimeter for the thickness of the pipe. And then click finish sketch. Okay. Then I will extrude this pipe. Okay, select the inner. Then I will use the asymmetric. So here, distance A okay, would be 100, and then distance B would be 250, I think 300. I want to make it a little bit longer. Okay. Okay. So this is the pipe. Okay. After that, I will create a bending to this pipe using the YZ plane. Okay, so over there the YZ plane. Right click and then click a new sketch. Okay, I'll create the line over here as a reference. Okay, so this line basically still can move, but I will use the mid point of this line and then put it in the center to make it yeah, in, right in the center okay okay so after that I will use this pen part and then I will select this line okay you can see that the pipe is already bent and then I will use the 30 as a bending radius which is this bending radius is matched with this curve shape here okay Okay, so I will back to the assembly environment. Okay, over there. So right now I'm going to assemble this uh, all this component. So uh, this one is the base, and for this clamp I will turn off the grounded, and then as you can see, if I turn off the grounded, so the file the part can move. Then I will use the basic constraint. Okay, so for example, I will put here and here, match, apply, and also this one to this one will match. Okay, apply, and then the second one I will choose the this one, this surface with this surface. Okay. match okay so basically when you see here there is a mid okay so this is the mid so we can uh, later on we can use this mid as a uh, moving in the animation okay so the second part is already done and then going to go to the third part which is the rotate clamp in here is a bit tricky because I want to create the movement to assemble this one so in order to create the movement over there okay so in here I will release the grounded component first and then I will open sorry I will double click here so I will create another sketch here in this respectively XY component Okay, as you can see there is a circle over there so I will use the 
construction line and then create a circle in here okay and then respectively we'll put it into the uh, coincident over there so i will use this circle for the later on uh, constraint for assembly and then finish sketch and then return okay as you can see if i move okay if i move the the product clamp here there is a sketch over there so i will use this sketch as a base uh, as a reference for the assembly okay i will put it into the center here okay okay i will flip sorry flip it up okay so i will flip it up okay apply and then i will also use this one and this one as the alignment of this surface okay so if you can see if i drag this part i can drag it from here to the respectively any angle that i want so i will create a constraint which is the angle constraint okay i will use this uh, undirected angle okay so i will use this one yeah i think this one is okay so this angle with this angle okay so that's the angle if i say 20 or 30 Okay, so minus 30 okay so it's like that so basically we can arrange that uh, angle will be doing so like that okay so I will click OK okay so the last part the last part is I want to create this pipe again okay, as a bending pipe here okay. So I will create the constraint, which is basically the center point to the center point, okay, like that, apply, and then we also have to align the angle, okay, so we have to align the angle, and that's so, uh, I will use the angle constraint here then I will use the origin pipe over here the XC plane and then I will match it with the base of the angle of the base okay okay zero degrees so later on if we can adjust the rotation of this pipe okay so right now I will use zero as an angle of pipe okay actually oh this one is already have a flush okay yeah because we when we create a file and then put it the uh, flush into this uh, mid here so if I take the 15 for example they will create the, respectively the distance okay okay so now just finish the assembly constraint and then don't forget to save the file okay click yes okay save all the file okay so the third part i will show to create the animation in this particular pipe bending okay okay see you in the next video